Good evening all and welcome to another video on All How The Out. Tonight we're going for another one from the new line of beers from Witchwood Brewery. It is this one. It is Shy Giant. And Shy Giant, as it says on the bottle, is a 4.7% ABV American Hot Amber Beer. And it says on the back, our modest yet powerful American-inspired amber beer releases a broad spectrum of fruity notes. A coming together of the finest American hops with red and extra dark crystal malts unveils a sweet and easy drinking beer with confident hints of raisin, orange and grapefruit. Uh, so there's no mention of which American hops, just that they are US hops. So there we go. I like the artwork on this one. You know, you've got kind of the, the little, the goblin inspired character in his little suit of armor. And then obviously you've got the larger shadow of the potential giant behind him. It works well. And I think I've earned this one after today. I've been doing more groundworks in the garden, putting the driveway in. It's been good fun. Uh, so time to settle down with the beer. So let's crack it open and see what we get. Pouring into the hobgoblin glass, switch hands. There we go, the pour is amber. There we are. So the beer is crystal clear, amber in color, slightly golden to it as well, golden copper colors all the way through. And we've got a fairly rapidly dissipating off-white head that is pretty compact and consistent. So that's your beer in a glass. Good looking pint of beer. Let's have a whiff. It smells malty. There is a hint of that grapefruit coming through. Not in a big way, but it's there. It smells good. Looks good. Let's have a taste. Cheers. Mmm. That's interesting. It's like a blend of an amber ale crossed with an IPA. You've got the classic malt profile with the sort of the dark fruit coming through first and foremost. And you've got those hops that bring a little bit of something punchy. I mean, it's, it's described as powerful. And by which would stand as it is powerful compared to the rest of the line, um, I'd say perhaps the IPA is obviously a little bit hoppier. Um, but that could just be the balancing of the, the, the dark malt and the particular hops that you've got going on here. There is a tiny hint of the grapefruit on the finish, which is quite nice. It's a sweet kind of crystal malt on the finish as well. Mouthfeel is kind of typical of the style. It's smooth, but not overly sort of heavy in any way. The body is kind of medium at most. All in all, that's a tasty beer. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Because I like my amber ales. I love my Spitfire. And the old speckled and things like that. And this is just a little bit different. So, Shy Giant, American Hopped Amber Beer. Would I buy you again? I would, I like it. I really do. I like the malts, they play well with the hops. You've got a balance of, excuse me, those fruity, sort of typical amber ale type flavors going on with something a little bit different on the hop profile. And in my opinion, it works quite well. I think you've got just enough of the grapefruit just to kind of give that little edge. I like the fact that it seems to be a crossing of styles, the amber and the IPA. That, that's what I've got going on here in my own sort of taste buds. You may have a different experience. You never know. Um, but for me, it works quite well. I like, I like the fact that it's a sensible ABV. I like the fact that it's tasty. 
I like the fact that it's cheap and available because it's available in Morrison's for under two quid a bottle. I can't remember exactly what I paid for it, I think. But for, no, in fact, it, do I tell a lie? It was on the four for six quid. Uh, so it was a quid fifty a bottle. Um, otherwise, about 180. So yeah, it's good value for money. Tasty, tasty beer. Would I rush out and buy it again? I would. Yeah, absolutely. Um, everyone knows if you if you drink Witchwood beers, the traditional Hobgoblin line. You got Ruby, you got the Gold, you got the IPA, and obviously you got King. Um, this plays well. It's something a bit different. It's different to all of the others, um, and and that that's good, you know, because you just didn't want a mishmash of two of the existing beers. You've got an amber style with a little bit of the hop from uh, from the IPA, and I like it. I like it a lot. I would rush out and buy it again. What would I give it overall, though? Is it missing anything? Uh, I'd, I'd like to see the hops just pushed up a little bit more. I would. Um, just to kind of really push that overboard and really give it that giant sort of edge that the name implies that it's got. I mean, you could say it's a bit of a sleeping giant. You know, it's... Uh, it's there, it's simmering away under the surface, and it's almost perfect for the style. Um, so let's go through, back with the bits it says. Uh, confident hints of raisin, yes. Orange, maybe, maybe. I see where they're coming from. In fact, that bitter orange, that's what's coming through. And the grapefruit, yes, the grapefruit's there. It works well. I like it. So I'm going to give Shy Giant from Witchwood four and a quarter out of five on the old untapped score sheet. It's very, very good. I like it a lot. So ladies and gents, boys and girls, down there are some buttons. You know exactly what to do with them. And uh, if you're all out there looking after yourself, staying home, staying safe, hope all is well with you all. This has been The Beer. I've been Nick. And I will see you again soon for another video. Bye.